I'm First Alert Storm Team Meteorologist AJ Rickman. Our temperatures overnight will drop into the upper 50s to low 60s across the board, pretty close to where we should be for this time of year, maybe just a touch below average. But overall, it should be a pretty decent night. We'll have partly to mostly cloudy skies, and we'll be watching for that slight chance of a few scattered showers through the overnight hours. Let's time that out for you. Saturday, 7 p.m., we are still watching more of that scattered shower activity that we've been talking about that's been impacting us during the day Saturday. As we go through the late overnight, we will see that coverage diminish, but maybe not entirely go away. So as you go through your overnight, most areas will stay dry, but we can't entirely rule out a stray shower here or there. As we start your day Sunday, most areas are dry, and we are seeing partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies. But as we go through the afternoon, we're going to see a mixture of clouds and sun, and then the daytime heating that we get tomorrow will help fuel some more scattered shower activity as we go through our afternoon. Once we get to the evening on Sunday, we do start to dry out, and overnight Sunday does look like it's going to be fairly dry with partly cloudy skies. Temperatures for tomorrow? are going to be pretty close to where we should be for this time of year. Once again, just a couple of degrees below average. But it's going to be a pretty nice day overall. We will be watching, like I said, for that mix of clouds and sun. Chance of a passing shower here and there. So it won't be a total washout, won't totally ruin your plans, but just have an umbrella on hand in case you encounter some of these. Winds are going to be very nice, very light and variable over the next couple of days, which means our temperatures are not going to change much. And our dew points, which have been rising steadily for the last couple of days, are now going to stay pretty consistent. They might tick up a couple more degrees as we get to the end of the weekend and into the first half of the week next week. We are going to watch for a continuation of some scattered shower chances as we get into the start of our work week. Monday, you can see we start our day pretty dry, but then as we get into the afternoon, a lot like what we're going to see on Sunday, that daytime heating is going to fuel some pop-up shower activity. That sticks around for a lot of the day on Monday, but then once we get to Monday evening and overnight and we cool off, we lose that fuel source for those showers, they do diminish, and by the time we get to Monday overnight, we're dry and enjoying partly to mostly clear skies. Rainfall forecast for the next five days, even though we're going to be worried about scatter sh scattered shower chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week, Overall, amounts are going to be fairly light due to the scattered and light nature of these showers. We will be watching for a change in our pattern, though. Once we get past midweek, we're going to dry out. Our rain chances are going to go away. We're also going to watch our temperatures start to climb a little bit as we get towards the end of the weekend, or towards the end of next week and into the weekend. You'll see that reflected in your nine-day forecast. We do keep those scattered shower chances around, especially during the afternoon hours from Sunday through Wednesday. As I said, it won't be a total washout, but then we do dry out for good on Thursday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we're mostly sunny, and you'll see those temperatures start to rise as we get towards next weekend.